Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Pete Pikmin 4. I think I got one more in me and I really just want to keep going now. We're making such great progress. So we're going to go say hi to Russ real quick and see what he's cooked up over in the lab here. He's got a new item. Oh, we better check it out, man. What do you got for me here? Let's get started. Okay, we got a... Man, we don't have too much here. Oh, in, oh, there's another great thing. Okay, first the new item. He's got the mine. When the bomb senses the movement of a creature, it explodes, and you can even stick it to him. It's like a, it's kind of like a plasma grenade in Halo there. Let's take it. Let's take our free mine prototype. Love it. And then there's some gear. Now, buried amongst all these other things that I can't afford, we've got the tough stuff here. HP increase. You gotta love that. Um, tough stuff. Same with Ochi. He's got a collar that gives him that. We've also got the anti-electrifier. I'm not sure if I shared that last time. Uh, it does what it says on the can. And then uh, the Scorch Guard and the Thermal Defense, I think we had. But we've also got uh, hidden in here is one great little gem, the Homesick Signal. When your Pikmin go missing, call them back to the Beagle with this. This works on any Pikmin not currently in your squad. So even if they're in the middle of something, they are coming back. That is super helpful. So if I'm sitting out there at the end of the day and they're, they're out and about, we're going to hit them with the Homesick Signal. So... We've got the idler alert that can call the idle Pikmin to us, and this will call all Pikmin to the ship. So, useful in different scenarios, believe it or not. Um, cool. And then let's check out some pup training here. Should we do some pup training? I think we should see what you got. I wonder if he can learn more tricks or if it's really just these. So, we finished command. <laughs> Again, he kind of learned that skill now that I'm not going to use much. Um... Oh, doggy paddle. It makes him swim faster. Okay. You know what? That requires two. Let's learn buff. I think getting Ochi a little stronger. Now he's going to be able to pick up something that weighs five instead of just three. Um, oh, we could give him another one and he could get uh, up to ten. Yeah, let's maybe do that. Okay, so Ochi's getting a lot stronger there. That's great. Well, 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 you mastered buff. I'll say I did. <laughs> Check these out. I knew you could do it, Ochi. That means I'm giving you permission to learn even more powerful skills. Super buff. What? You can get super buff? Oh, these noodles. Okay. Super buff. That's insane. Okay. Well, so we don't have enough pup skill to really get anything anymore. So, all right. And two scrumby bones for my efforts. There we go. Keep up the good work. I'll say. All right. Colin, yeah, I hate to say it, buddy, but you're you're finding a lot of cool areas. But you know, what I'd really like to do, I don't like seeing that 86% next to Sun Speckled Terrace. You know, it drives me insane. I like a nice round number, hundreds a nice round number in my opinion. I say we go back to Sun Speckled Terrace and we try to finish it off. And it looks like there's some missing treasures. And there's some missing rescuees. And I say we do it. I say if we can see if we can knock this out today in record time. Beam me up, Captain, and let's get me over to that terrace. I wonder if we'll actually be able to rescue a guy instead of a leafling this time. And remember, we're looking for the pilot, and do we know who else? Oh, maybe the doctor is the other guy. They were talking about a doctor, so... That could be the rest of a crew. It's a really good crew. It's kind of everybody's uh, different specialties there. We don't really know what Dirty Dingo's specialty is, but he's part of the crew, you know. Alright. Oh, no calls today. We're not going to learn any special abilities. Interesting. Ochi's twitching his nose. <laughs> could that mean something? I don't know. Could it? Could that mean there's treasure nearby? Ochi? Do you have a scent for treasure? Let's see if he does. I'm gonna ride him. And you know the great thing is he'll just take me right there, so I will just chill. Now, you're not just gonna take me to another cave and tell me there's treasure inside the cave, are you, Ochi? You're gonna take me to real treasure this time? The treasure gauge is going too, so let's see what he found. Let's see what they hid from me in this place. 
Oh, of course, right here. Well, I should have known there was treasure right here. Of course, look at it. It's so obvious now. Dig it up, guys. What is this, a potato? Is that just a full-on russet potato? I love it. I love me a good baked potato, you know? So, another interesting thing is I can have Ochi take me to uh, raw material. Let's just do that real quick. And even though I've been getting raw material, uh, I think those actually respawn. So how interesting. Hello, Pikmin. Are you just going to stand there? Nope. You're coming with. Great. We picked him up, man. Ochi is the best. All right. So he found some raw material up here. And this is kind of fun. I mean, raw material, you're, you're never going to run out. You can always go do this, um, which will get you more. And it does respawn. And that's all good. All right, and we got the treasure. So you know what I'm actually going to do? We're going to throw a few guys in here, and then I could have sworn I saw another one of these right over here. And I'm actually just going to move the ship right here then, even better. Dirt mound excavation completed. It's raw material, indeed. All right, let's bring the base over here. That'll let those guys recover that super quick. We'll go check this one out. And I'm also going to call idlers back to me. And we'll get the whole squad over here. Nice! Holy smokes, look at that. I mean, that's pretty much like a free bomb right there. Alright, we got all 50 Pikmin. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, since we got a little time, is I'm going to check my numbers. So we got an awful lot of red Pikmin. Not quite so many uh, yellows and blues. So, let's actually get 25 of each. And the other thing is I'll grab a few of these pellets, too. Alright, so we'll grab that one for blue. We'll grab that one for yellow. We'll grab this big one for blue again. This one for yellow. Yeah, and we'll just take a little bit of extra of uh, pellet action here. Why not? Let's get those numbers up. Okay, and what are we actually doing here? Well, we are going to head over, and now that Ochi can swim, we might have something we can do. So, let's take a little run on over here. If I happen to spot any more of those raw materials on the way, I might just do it, but... We might be wrapping this place up. Is there anything else I can rip on in the background, design-wise? There's a little gate. Oh, that's actually a really cool gate. Yeah. This is quite the nice little garden. I gotta say, I still just don't get why you'd hang up a shelf with plants on it. Man, you get one decent wind and that thing is gonna blow right over. Oh, and you know what it looks like we're gonna need from here? We are gonna need some ice pikmin to freeze that water. And I just happen to have the very thing. Let's bring the base over. Let's put everybody up. I guess we can just grab as many ice pikmin as we possibly can here. Apparently I've got some idlers up there, which is fine. I'll go ahead and just use the idler alert again. Why, why not get them over to the ship, you know? Alright, so we got a, <laughs> this guy's got a little moat up here. It's going to take 20 Pikmin to freeze that, no problem. And I can, I think I can hop right up now. Hippity hop. And one and two. Well, that's, that's a ramp. You didn't need to do that second up. Look at this guy dancing. He's having a blast up here. Oh, he actually is fully functional. He's got leaves. Yep, he's pink. Dandori. Dandori. I love me some Dandori. Now, this is a gray pipe. What the heck is this all about? They ducked into that pipe. Perhaps their leafiness makes them obsessed with Dandori. Well, I must have a leaf on my head then, because I love Dandori too. Alright, Dandori Daycare. So, this is different. Um, let's go check it out. Pikmin do not come with. We're going to have a cutscene that tells us that. They have no interest in this Dandori. That's fine. So, this is a little bit odd because this is going to be like what we did last time where we faced off against whoever that is with the big nose. Um, but this is more of a one-on-one... -on -one, uh, no, it's not one-on-one. -on -one. It's just one. It's just me. It's a challenge for me. Um... To test my Dandori skills. And 
your only enemy is time. Oh, he even says that. Do more Dandori. Improve Dandori. Simple goal. Carry as much as you can. These Pikmin and these Leaf people are obsessed with carrying things. Oh, you don't actually get to take the treasure home. Or the Pikmin. But... You can get raw materials? I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright. So we got five minutes to finish this level up. All we really need to do is finish it. But then, of course, the better you do, the better your score will be. So we have a bit of an incentive to do really well here. But you know what I'm not going to do is uh, break any record, let's just say. So we'll just run around here. Now we can just check the map briefly. It's going to show us where treasures are and things. But... Uh, I have a decent memory for doing some of this. I was actually on a flight recently and I was doing a whole bunch of these, so... Believe it or not, I did this one a lot on the plane. A whole bunch of times. So I think I remember where things are fairly well. Alright, smack him. Pikmin, I was hoping you guys would get up on top of him and knock him out here. What's going on? We only have four minutes. Alright, and real quick, we are going to get this plant moved here. Let's get that out of the way. Start killing these guys off. Pick up a few more Pikmin on the way. It's definitely great to get as many Pikmin as you can as soon as you can. That is the key. This guy, I'm not sure what he's doing. He's kind of chilling up there. He's not really coming down to help me at all, frankly. Kind of a jerk, actually. Alrighty. Oh, we got this nice little cookie here. Now, that's actually not clay. That is a cookie, oddly enough, but it looks just like the clay. Alright, and we got another perfect task for these Pikmin that begin to become idle. We can start working on this gate here. Can't bring anything home if there's a gate in the way, you know what I mean? Alright, all set. Let's head down. Ochi, I'm gonna ask you to maybe dig up whatever's going on here. We got a pile of sand over here for some reason. We got another cookie. We got Pikmin up here. Let's grab them. And then, yeah, we gotta start taking this big rhino thing out. What is this creature here? Oh, he's done. He's not too strong at all, is he? We got him and we got a nice little long john over here. Let's grab that. <laughs> Alright, how funny. <laughs> okay. We're coming back. Very nice. Um, I, I, do I have my idlers alert in here? Yes, I do. Oh, and I've got my homesick signal. Very cool. Well, I don't want to disrupt anyone that's actually doing work here, so we'll just leave it. Now, it looks like I'm trying to get 90 points, and we are not even close, so... Better keep going. Here's a jar. This is worth 12. You know what? Oh, Ochi's like super strong now. Yeah, Ochi, you can handle that. No problem. Well, almost. He can get 10, not quite 12. Nice, and then while he's doing that, I'll tell you what, I'll grab the rest of these Pikmin here. I got 24 of them. We'll start grabbing these gold nuggets. That'll be great. This'll be a whole bunch of points right now. And the exact number come back that are needed, and the rest weigh at the ship, so I really like that. They improved the logic on that quite a bit. Alright, pile of nuggets. Oh man, we're already smashing the record here. This is crazy. I think that means we're done. I mean, technically we actually could just be done, but heck no, man. I gotta get my fix of Dandorian for the day, you know? If I don't get my Dandorian, I get cranky, so... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, but we can grab some of this. I wonder if it counts to bloom these Pikmin the way we were supposed to bloom them. Alright, and you know what? I can lower this thing so I could get back up here, but... There's no point. The Pikmin aren't going to have to even come back up here, so we're fine. I'll lower it anyway. I'll have Ochi just do it once they're done. I think he just knocks that off and it makes a little ladder. That's really neat. And I can climb that and Pikmin can climb that, so how funny. <laughs> Look at him go up the ladder! <laughs> now, I don't climb a ladder or anything like that in real life, frankly. That'd be offensive to even suggest. Oh man, we just smoked this thing with 59 seconds left. Are you kidding me? It's actually a halfway decent score. I was getting, like, bronze medals the first time I did these, like, I don't know what was going on here, but I wouldn't even finish them, let alone, like, finish them with time. 199. Oh, he's so dizzy. 
Your Dandor is just unbelievable. I couldn't even watch you. I got so dizzy. Take these 30 pieces of raw material. Thank you, that'll be nice. Oh my, he's fainted. <laughs> just chuck him out, I love that. Oh, that makes me laugh. Alright, who is he? Can we get an ID on this guy? Oh, we don't ID him until he gets back to the ship, obviously. Ridiculous. You know what? I don't know why I did that. I didn't grab the right number of Pikmin to freeze this thing. You know, alright. We're gonna do it. I swear... I wonder if Ochi could grab him. You know, maybe not, because Ochi would just try to drag him across the water, and that's kind of messed up, and that wouldn't work, so... Ochi... He's getting better in the water, but, you know, he's got his issues still, so... Alright, let's head over and grab this guy, and let's bring him home. Here he goes, we're all set. Alright, now can we get an ID on this guy? Come on here, a leafy castaway. I'm sure it'll work this time. Nope, not at all. He's just called Pink Leafling is all we're gonna call him. Explored 100% of the area. Did you see that? We got 100% of that area explored. So, I'm going to call the Pikmin back. We're actually going to use the homesick signal and pull them back real quick. Oh, I got one blue guy over there, man. Come on. We got to go save him. Oh, gee, we got to save this man. It is imperative that we don't lose a Pikmin for no reason. Alright, you know what? Since I'm over here, I see an awful lot of uh, other pellets, and we've got a little time, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to grab those up. Oh, alright, I messed that up. We'll grab a few of these. That's okay. I don't think they need to bring them back um, with the same color. Oh, we should test that theory, though, you know? I just don't know. I feel like that's definitely true. I feel like you want them to get the ones that are same color, but I don't know. You know what, let's test it once and for all for science. What do you say? Should we do it? Alright, so we're gonna draw down all of the blue Pikmin that we possibly can. I'm gonna pluck these ones. Alright, and we've got 50 with us. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna see We've got 95 yellow Pikmin. So if I bring this back with yellow Pikmin, what does my number go up to? Wait, did that say 95 or is it doing it right now? 100. And this guy's putting one more in, so that's going to go up to what, 101? Oh, 102. Okay. <laughs> Am I crazy? <laughs> um, so does it matter or not? So if I have a yellow Pikmin bring back this one, does it go up to 104? It seems like it did. Alright, and then I've got 12 blue ones, so if I have a yellow guy bring this back, does it go up only to 13 then? Let's find out. In that case, it still says 12, so... Oh, you know what? That's just a little odd to me sometimes. Anyway, bring the pellets back. Um, yeah, I guess I try to... I tried to use the right color, I don't know. Somebody much smarter than me can probably look that up. Um, okay, so you know what? We're at a good place here. Let's end the day. As long as we don't lose any Pikmin, I'm fine with that. And we got 100% of the Sun Speckled Terrace done, so we should not need to come back here at all. That is amazing.
I mean, I feel like I went from wanting to let's beat this game to here we already are, getting 100% over our first area in quite a quick period of time here, so this is a little surreal. That's all I could think about when I was actually playing it the first time, is I thought this would be so cool to record and I'll do a great job, and of course, well, that's not happening, but uh, it's still a lot of fun to play it and it's a lot of fun to share it, and um, God, it's just a great game. I'm happy to go through it again. I'll tell you what, it's just long enough, too. It's longer than three, but it is not too long. It's lovely. Alright, so that's day eight. We used day eight just to get uh, this leafling here. We got another pup drive. We got a child of the earth, as we all call potatoes. 100% of this area, lovely. And the jury's still out on how the pellets work. She says, I'm, I, I'm fascinated by these treasures. Think back to that treasure we found the first day, the Stone of Advancement. That was the Game Boy Advance SP. It was able to open and close, right? Maybe it was intended as some sort of makeshift shelter to protect its creator from the wind and the rain. Like a tent? <laughs> Interesting theory, though likely incorrect. Ouch, Colin, that's a little rough, but, you know, you're right. Um, that's actually super funny, yeah. I don't know, they think everybody's, like, as small as they are. <laughs> Oh, how silly. Alright, so we won't actually go and do any more exploration here, but let's check out the camp. Let's see how things are going at the camp here with our extra time. You know what I find funny, too? I want to just call this out before I forget. This game is beautiful, and the 3D art and the shaders and the lighting, it's all beautiful. I love it, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's a little odd sometimes, like... The low polyness of this, I don't really know what the point is. Um, notice the back of the ship here, how its little jet is like super faceted. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is only a like a ten-sided cylinder essentially, and the middle is just stretched out. So why? It's the ship. It's the biggest object in the game. Like round that out. You can spend a little extra geometry and round it out if you wanted to. Um, the cylinders on the windows are, you know, 16 maybe around, it's hard to say. Something like that, those little ones at least. So, you know, they, they certainly aren't afraid to spend it. Um, sometimes I just don't get, you know, you're, you're not going to make a difference in the game. You know, you could, you could put that 10 times as high and you wouldn't even lose, you know, one frame per second. So, I find some of that a little bit odd sometimes. And I don't know if it's meant to be more stylistic, but... You know, the Switch is capable of more, I will just say. I think your uh, largest object in your most visited area, I would be a little more spendy. But uh, I'm not a game developer, what do I know? So, um, yeah, let's go talk over here. Dirty Dingo's got something to tell us here. What's going on, Dingo? Oh, oh you think you got this under control, is that it? He always says a little side thing, like, under his breath, too. He's like, no one can pull a fast one on me. He's kind of insecure like that. But we get 30 resources for investigating that area 100%. And now our next quest is investigate two areas. So amazing. That is great progress. And it's good to have those extra resources. And who's up here? Who is this? Who are you? Yeah, Francois. It's such a pleasure to speak with you. I am Francois. For years, I've been working on a two-way communication between plants and us. I think Pikmin might be the key. And he maybe has another thing to say here, too. Kindness. That's why I love plants and Pikmin. They're kind. They listen when you talk, and they accept you, whoever you are. You talk to your plants there, Francois? We wouldn't want a friend like that. There'd be so much less sadness in the world if everyone could be friend of Pikmin. Isn't that true? Wouldn't that be nice? And you'd get so much work done. We must help propagate more Pikmin. Grow the Pikmin population. That's another side mission that's going to repeat. So, as we play, we're going to get more Pikmin. We're going to get more resources, and then this guy wants us to bloom Pikmin. That's going to happen, too. That is going to be cash money. So thank you, Francois. And, you know, the other thing is... Uh, I was going to say, i, I got to be honest, I have named a plant before. In fact, I named most of my plants. I don't know if I talked to them, but I've named them. So I get it. Did this guy have a quest, too? How's your treasure coming along? 
Oh no, yeah, so that's not right. Um, maybe I'm thinking of the Piclopedia here. Let's talk to that guy. I thought I got a notification that one of these was done. Nope. Oh, you know what? It wasn't done, it was just that it was a new quest. Okay, my bad. How could you pull yourself away from that Piclopedia? Alright, Russ, oh, for once, he doesn't even have anything new for us here, so kind of amazing. You know what I'll do? I'll complete one small thing before we go. I will grab a couple more blue pellets. Grow the blue Pikmin by clearly what is an unknown n a number of pellets in Pikmin. I don't understand how that works. I swear in Pikmin 3, I swear, if they brought the pellet over of their color, you would get one extra Pikmin, you know, so you'd get one normally and you'd get two if they brought that over. I feel like it still works that way. Like, it seems like it does, but I swear I just brought that fiver over and it didn't do anything for me. In the, la in the last part of the video, so. Let's get these guys fully plucked. Yeah, and I guess let's just do a quick Ochi training too. Let's get that done. And then in the next video, we will be able to go hardcore into wherever we go next. I've been watching you two progress, and you've inspired me to a, create a new training course. What? You see, when you're plucking Pikmin, I believe Ochi can help if he learns pluck. Are you serious? I've also added some training to beef up his dig skill so he can dig even faster. Ochi is so fast at digging. Are you crazy? You know what? That's great. Oh my god, pluck? There's three plucks. Let's learn a pluck then. He learned pluck level one. Good boy. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. I love that. Um, hmm. What else? Should we learn something else? No, we'll save up. I kind of want to learn doggy paddle, so let's grab our scrummy bone and get the heck out of here. Keep up the good work, she says. Okay, so you know what? That's enough of that. We're in great shape to start the next video right here. We'll go right into battle or exploration or whatever. We finish my plucking here. Let's tuck in these beautiful blue Pikmin for the evening. And with that, I will chill over here by these leaflings and await you on the next video. Thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.